Well, Sherry, we have all heard of homeowners facing foreclosure, but have you ever heard of one of them fighting back? Well, a woman from Los Angeles decided to do just that when her mortgage payment jumped from $11,000 to $30,000 a month in what she calls a mortgage scam. And my payment jumped up to $30,000 a month. Barbara Beam spent 26 years of her life working for the city of Long Beach, the same city where a jury recently awarded her a $30.5 million judgment against a Pasadena loan broker after a predatory lending foreclosure trial. This case was all about a completely ludicrous interest term buried in the fine print. Barbara says she fell in love with this home in Angelino Heights in 2000 and bought it. And I poured my heart and soul into this property for almost 15 years of my life. When she needed to refinance in March of 2014, she had trouble finding a lender. It's 140 years old. It's three stories. As a result, I had no other choice but to reach out to a hard money lender. She reached out to Cervanka and Luke's Mortgage Corporation out of Pasadena and says within two weeks they had refinanced her home. Little did I know the nightmare that I was going to uh, enter with these people. The nightmare started in September of 2014 when she was 18 days late on a payment. One day after the check didn't clear, they put a uh, foreclosure notice on her home and accelerated her pa payment. They were so ruthless when they kicked me out of my house. So how could this have happened? It was a trick, simple as that, paperwork trick. Attorney Daniel Brown says although Barbara had negotiated the terms of the loan, the paperwork had some additional terms she had not agreed to, like a 24.99% interest rate for missing just one payment. That was hidden under the section titled prepayment penalties. Federal and state law says, listen, when you give a loan, you got to summarize the big points on these four pages. They didn't do that. Barbara says she hopes her victory sends a message to the entire industry. We as a society are watching you, and you cannot get away with it. Like you casually think you can just take and step and crush people. No more. Now, attorneys say the mortgage broker also had an expired license at the time of the contract. Uh, a confidential agreement, though, was reached today. That settlement, though, well, they wouldn't tell us exact dollar amount, but we did find out Barbara's going to be getting her home back in time for Christmas. I did try to reach out to that mortgage company, but haven't heard back yet.